Hello everybody, welcome back to Well and Sarah's channel. Today we are trying out this A Sub Sublimation paper and A Sub Sublimation ink. Um, I did mess up on the sublimation bundle that I received, so I figured this is the perfect opportunity for me to redeem myself and kind of really show you guys what the ink looks like pressed onto something that is 100% polyester. So this here little Toy Story shirt is for my son. You'll see here, I'm trying to keep it all lined up and I'm ripping the edges off. A little, uh, little sublimation hack is cutting it. Seems to put the lines inside the shirt, but I was told that if you rip the paper, you don't get those harsh paper lines when you do press it. So that's a little, uh, little uh, hint there to help you guys out. Um, I did also fold this shirt in half and while the heat press was heating up, I did put a slight little line down the center just to kind of guide me. It was super hard to see, um, but at the end of the day, I felt like I was spending too much time trying to line it up and not enough time making the shirt. So I ended up just kind of eyeballing it and going with it. I also didn't have my regular tape dispenser that was upstairs. I'm down in the dungeon in this video. So I didn't have my regular tape dispenser. So I have to use a super thin one and I'm cutting it with scissors. Very, very old school here. So you'll see the uh, taping isn't the nicest, but it really doesn't matter because it ends up in the trash anyway. Um, I end up cutting off a really big piece and I thought maybe I could line it across the bottom, but because it's so thin, it didn't work. This tape came from overseas, I want to say like Alibaba or one of those websites. I didn't realize the thickness and then when it arrived, I was like, holy moly, it's so thin, but it, it's good. It works. It, it serves its purpose. So yeah, so we have our image pressed down, mirrored, um, just taping it down to our shirt. We don't want it to move. So even though I'm using the cheaper, thinner tape i'm just gonna have to use a little bit more than normal just to make sure that when i am pressing the image with the heat press it doesn't move around because we don't want ghosting and for those who don't know ghosting is where you get like that blurry image or like some of the ink kind of spreads a little bit just from pressing so we definitely don't want that we want to make our shirt nice for our little guy right the next step i'm doing here is i'm cutting down some butcher paper to place in the center of my shirt. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I don't have a pressing pillow that is small enough to fit into the 3T t-shirt here. I have one that is tiny for baby onesies, and then I have one that is bigger for grown-up shirts, but I don't have one for a 3T size. So in this case, I'm using the butcher paper, which is just a thick, it's almost like parchment paper, but it is thicker. Um, I do prefer it if I have the option. Fair warning, it is super loud, so there is no uh, using butcher paper in the middle of the night while your family is sleeping and getting away with it. It is probably the loudest part of sublimation if you're using the butcher paper. So, yes, here we go. All right, so our heat press is heated up, and I'm just moving this from my little work table there over to the heat press, making sure everything's nice and flat. We don't want any lines. We don't want any bumps we don't want any issues we just want it to be nice and straight and flat so when we press it down that ink transfers and we see what we get with our end result you may have noticed i also have butcher paper down on the very bottom of my heat press and then of course we are covering our sublimation print with it that is because i don't want the ink to go anywhere else and i don't want any like little debris that might be on the heat press i don't want it to get on this pretty white shirt so that's why I do line it, line it, line it, because I don't want to ruin the shirt before I even get started. <laughs> so for this shirt, I am pressing at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 seconds. And that just seems to be like the perfect temperature and time for a 100% polyester shirt. Every little bit of ink did transfer over. The image turns out super bright, super vibrant. Oh my goodness, guys, look how good that looks. Again, this is using a subs ink and a sub paper, and the results are just phenomenal. I am so impressed. I absolutely love it. Look at the characters, guys. They look, it looks so professional. It looks so good. I can't wait until my son sees it. He's going to be so excited. Um, this is an image that I created using clip art. 
Um, again, not for sale or anything like that, just for my son and just to test out the ink. And you also get to see the array of colors there because, I mean, almost every other color is there. And I'm just showing you the back here. Even though it looks like it went through, that's just the front. It's a thinner material. So thank you guys for watching.